This Alexa Flash Briefing is sponsored by Team Automotive Group. Hello everyone from WFB Channel 9. I'm Matt Williams with those Friday headlines. A lot to get to on a Friday, including a look at that forecast. All important, right? Got a lot of parades. We're going to get to that in a quick minute. Not too bad to start out there on a Friday morning. We're going to cover all the bases for you as you try to make those plans. But this, I tell you, man, this is a busy, busy day. Let's give you a look at just some of what was going on. Breaking news into the newsroom this morning, in fact, on the west side. Let's take you to West Baton Rouge, Port Allen, in fact. This is Avenue B. Fire crews saying they worked two, count them, one, two vacant house fires this morning. Now, uh, vacant, nobody was hurt, and that includes firefighters as they knock these flames down. But how did the fires get started? That's part of the investigation. Again, two vacant house fires there along Avenue B. We'll keep you in the know. As I mentioned, very, very uh, active. 24 hours here. This was about four o'clock this morning in Baton Rouge. This is right along uh, South 14th Street in Baton Rouge. You know where that is? Kind of uh, off of South Street, still on government. Actually, not too far from the WAP studios. In fact, our, our crew on scene actually catching this. Uh, somebody being taken away on a stretcher to the hospital here. Now, we've uh, been in contact with BRPD and with EMS to see exactly what happened here about four o'clock this morning on South 14th Street. Once we get the details, we'll let you know. But again, that was all this morning. That was already after a very active Thursday. Two people injured during a shooting Thursday night. This is actually 72nd Avenue. You know where that, this is 72nd as it kind of gets towards Plank Road. So that's a pretty busy corner, pretty busy intersection right there. And so folks are hoping that there might have been some people around that saw something. Again, two injured in that Thursday night shooting. Make that phone call to Crime Stoppers and keep that number handy. Because a little bit earlier in the day, a little west of there, along 75th Avenue, as you get towards Scenic Highway, this, a double shooting, one that claimed a life. One dead, another in critical condition after that shooting. So again, the number to know is Crime Stoppers at 344 stop. They also had a, a, a shooting along Shelley Street near Plank Road. Way too much going on, and that's just Thursday. A lot of investigations going. Keep that number handy, 344 stop. See if you can help. We'll keep you in the know. Okay. Let's shift gears. There's a lot going on uh, this weekend that folks are paying attention to, including big game on Sunday, right? The big Super Bowl. Are you, and let's preface this with, do this responsibly and don't throw away money that you can't afford to be throwing away. Sports betting has become big time. And in Louisiana, that is now legal. Well, our Kelly Hubbard actually talked with the pros in the know about how to do this, right? There may be some terminology that you're not maybe used to. What's a money line bet? What's a prop bet? All that stuff, right? She actually talked with the pros in the know about what you should know if you're looking to kind of get into this. Do it softly again. Do it responsibly. Don't play with money you can't afford to lose. But if you want to see a little bit about maybe what you could know and learn, find that story. She's got it waiting for you. WAFB.com in your 9 News app. Speaking of games, big game tonight. And it's actually on WAFB 930 hour time. I think pregame starts at 9 o'clock. It's the Pelicans on the road taking on the Lakers. Pelicans going for their season best fifth win in a row. They just knocked off the LA Clippers, top team in the West. Can they shut down the Lake Show tonight? Still hanging out there in California, taking on the Lakers. Look, they've had a, a, a good stretch of good games here. Again, if they win tonight, it'd be their fifth win in a row, longest win streak of the season. One more time for you. This game is on WAFB tonight. Tip is at 9.30, pregame starts at 9, so you know, WAFB 9 News at 10 is going to stream for you on WAFB Plus, so you'll still be able to get all the stuff, but flock up tonight at 9.30. So that's all the stuff going on, right, game-wise. Parade-wise, busy Friday, busy Saturday, busy Sunday, we've got it all waiting for you at WAFB.com and your 9 News app. All the list of parades, the festivities, the fests, it is that time of year in South Louisiana. You can find it there. Now because, you know, the parades are typically a parades outside. I mean, you know, more often than not. The forecast is going to be kind of critical. Again, one more look for you as you, sit, as you get outside on a Friday morning. A little bit of haze right there as the Friday gets going. We are on our way to a pretty good Friday. Let me show you the 10-day forecast. Just a 20% chance of rain. So when we're talking about parades this evening, looking good. Into tomorrow, again, you got scattered showers here and there on a Saturday. Parade still looking pretty good. Sunday, that was the day we were always focused on, right? But talking to Dr. Steve Caparato this morning, not going to be a complete washout. Going to be some pockets of clear in there where we might be able to get in some good times at some good parades. So just, you know what, have that first little weather app handy. That's going to be really a clutch for you as you kind of make your way around to some of the parades in South Louisiana over the next number of days. Enjoy what South Louisiana has to offer over these next number of days. We'll see you next time.
sponsored by Team Automotive Group.